hey and welcome to my channel today i am setting up my june um planner this is this is my beautiful planner case i still have my things in here from may um actually this was from april jane's agenda i just liked it so much i kept it through may but it's but now i'm going i'm ready to switch to the june one um, and I have my little handy book of covers <laughs> right here. And so I've got the June one. There's also, um, some other fun things that I'll probably be adding in here, like this vellum and a little sheet from, um, Jane's Agenda. Probably not going to do the inbox inserts, but I I'm thinking about some of these other inserts that came with the June box. So, to start with, I was like thinking I need to go back to big discs. So I'm gonna go back to my bigger discs. And also with just looking at the June, it does look pretty with this, but I feel like it would be prettier with my um, cream cover. So I'm gonna switch covers. Um, and discs. So to start, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the discs. So I've got my June cover and I'm just going to add these gold discs. Oh <laughs> may just fast forward this part but sometimes it's kind of fun to just listen to them click into place right <laughs> who else loves switching up things i love that about the disc bound planners is that we can just switch things up oh it's gonna be so pretty okay well, we'll come back to this one and we are moving into this one. Oh, not sure I got that centered. Ish. So I'll open that up. And we are going to slide this guy on in. going to be so pretty once it's set up. And I'll probably clip this on to a little paper clip. Slide that on there. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. All right. So next, I have to decide what all do I want to put in here for my old calendar. And I was thinking about this girl because I still just love um having her in the front of my of my planner so i think she is staying my homemade planner cover will probably also stay I like how that looks next to her. And I love the saying on here with listen to your heart above all voices. And this other one, that every sunrise holds a promise of a new day. Of course, I will keep my gold section up front. And the goals section consists of my intention sheet here for what I intend for 2023 to be strong and healthy again. I'm on my way there, do things that bring me joy, buy flowers just for myself, travel to see beautiful things. I'm so excited. I just booked 
um, a trip for my kids and I to the French Riviera. It's going to be so exciting. I um, dress cute, lay out in the sunshine, and read. I'm going to do all of those things this year. I have been doing a lot of them already. And then just another affirmation page of find your bliss. Enjoy every moment. Shine your light. You are magic. Stay true to you. Travel dreams. I need to start putting some of my travel stuff in here because there's so many, like researching this last trip, I found so many places that I totally want to go, like Croatia and Slovenia, um, all over France since I've been researching that part. So yeah. All right. What do I want to put in here next? I think I will keep my self-care section next. So, this is the part though that I'm going to be switching up a little. Um, I have first off these dollar store sheets that I got from this fun little health tracking book at the dollar store and I just cut it up and hole punched them and put them in here but this is something that's actually been working really well for me okay the first couple of months I didn't know what to put here for monthly goals but I've been doing like the meal trackers sometimes <laughs> um this mood tracker I converted to also a headache tracker so I could track what days I have headaches or how many days I have migraine since they seem to be the boon of my existence and then the next the thing I'm working on right now is getting rid of those darn migraines and losing weight so I've got the weight tracker going on here with the measurements and fitness tracker I'm just using to write down like what did I do and I'll put if I had a rest day this month I figured out that doing back-to-back -back classes even though the yoga was a really relaxing one after a intense water weightlifting type to water toning one was too much and so yeah <laughs> I needed a lot of rest the next week or some of these rest days are because of migraines but anyways um this is working so well I don't use the grocery list as ever because I do my groceries on my phone but um June my goal is no sugar so I'm excited about that so that section is definitely staying but I want to add more um and I think I'm going to use this old happy planner fitness tracker that I had and it has the what's inspiring me, what, how much strength in my mind, body, and my soul. And I had made my own section like that with my current one, but I really wanted some place where I'm just tracking fitness stuff in this. Um, this was my favorite option. So this is what I'm going with. And um, they're undated, so I just kind of like picked which colors to start with and June is the end of our Mary Kay year, so it's a big Mary Kay month, so it's kind of pink for Mary Kay. And then because July, we're going to travel to Sweden, and then from there on to, and we'll be on the coast, and go from there to, like, um, the Nice and some of the smaller cities along the French Riviera. I think it's all about the ocean, even though most of that trip's happening in August. Um, yeah, I was just excited about it now. And I love that it says live well, because this is the kind of thing I couldn't imagine doing for myself a few years ago. And um, really just made the decision to step out of my box as a single mom of four and just start traveling because what am I waiting for right and so and then August I think I'll just put all of them in because I just want to have the summer all together and that's one of the reasons I went to the bigger desks okay so I'm going to be tracking one of the things I'm working with a um weight loss specialist um who's really awesome I'm so lucky to have found her but she told me to track like five fruits and veggies that I'm eating every day so I'll be tracking that along with everything else I was tracking in my regular section of 
um, of my current one, which, let's see, so I've been tracking, like, how am I feeling um, in the morning? Um, what is my what percentage of rest, restorative sleep I'm getting? How many steps? Zone minutes? Estimated calories? You can see here's where I started tracking the fruits and veggies, <laughs> but it just kind of was getting too crowded. Um, and so and I wanted to track, yeah, like I said, more things. So I should be able to track both of those easily in here, and um, probably even a couple of other things too. All right. So I've got those in there. And I might have to move some things around because now my self care, because I had these different tabs, hmm, those might have to get moved around a little bit. I'm just going to put these in here for now and then figure out if I want to change it. And actually, this is one of the things I probably will start tracking in here on these parts. Um, because I was tracking, I was just kind of as I change things, but I think I might do this weekly, write down like what um, kind of supplements I'm doing, what kind of workouts, therapies, diet, so that if I change anything, like let's say I stop taking a supplement or if I add a new one or a new therapy, um, I can write how that's changed and how that's affecting things. So I love this that, that I've been using right now. It's kind of nice to have it all in one spot, but I think I would prefer to have it here with everything else I'm tracking health-wise. So um, yeah, I'll come back to that idea. The rest of my self-care um, section is just, I have this little inspiration section where I have like pictures of myself feeling happy, looking skinny, being a cute little girl, all the things. Um, and then, yeah, this just body affirmations, um, and some more self-care stuff, pictures of, well, this was like a before and after when I had started to work out and then I gained some weight. So it kind of tracks me like how my body looks different over the different weights. So now I'm up here to like 220. So it kind of gives me an idea of what it's going to look like as I go back down. So <laughs> that's my um, inspiration because I want to drop back. Uh, I want to change this and go back this way. And um, it inspires me that like even like I mean, 15 pounds does look a lot different. So um you know, my goal is to lose at least that much before my wedding. So, like that. Schedule just has like the gym schedule. And DNRS has some mental health stuff I'm working on. Or changing your thinking and then it just goes into my I don't know what you call it like year at a glance kind of calendar so I, think I got this beautiful um, dashboard from Jane's agenda I think it was in my June box yeah and um, so I might like I said start changing some of these but I keep my little name page here because it looks so pretty well it's hard to see with the glare but it looks so pretty facing this I just it just makes me happy to open it and then see that and then it just has like kind of my future tracking like you know knowing what's happening when so that I can plan around it like when we're when we're the wedding is when uh, school starts again those kind of things and then we've got my word of the year um, so I don't know I might want to move this section so that my word of the year is by my other like goal and inspiration stuff I'll think about that um, okay and then moving into the month I have this one is from May but it's so pretty and it looks so nice next to my word of the year thingy. 
that I might keep this too also because it just reminds me of like Europe and that's where I'm going this summer and I'm super excited about it. Okay, so I'm not going to keep my May, but I will flip through my May because I actually really liked my May. Um, I just loved how the, yeah, the stickers. I feel like I'm getting better at stickers. <laughs> um, but just, you know, kind of the watercolor stickers that reminded me of, you know, rainy days and then these bold flowers because the flowers are starting to come up in May. Um, these ones I didn't use as much as I would have liked. And I, I did use them. But um, it's kind of my overall, like, personal to-dos and family to-dos. And then my business ones. Um, see, this is where I was doing the mind, body, soul thing. I think I'm going to switch what I'm doing with this. And then this was for my, um, oh my gosh, social media. <laughs> but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to switch up some things. But I just, yeah, I really like, here's where I was first trying to figure out where did we want to go um, for our little side trip after the wedding with me and my kids. Here's my pages that I love because all of the plants and little wall hanging kind of stuff just made me think of like a therapist office and super relaxing and chill. And I was doing lots of therapy stuff this week. This was, yeah, I just a happy spring one. I just love the, um, the st sticker books that were coming out from the Happy Planner. And so it's all Happy Planner ones right here. This was my youngest birthday. He turned 16. We got his passport. It was just, yeah, lots of fun stuff. Um, so yeah, so that was me. And now I'm ready to go into June. And I never use these. And I have not been using these. So I think I'm going to stop maybe putting these in because it just takes up space until I think of something to do with those. So for now, I'm going to grab the June. And add this in. I do like to keep a week one right here on whichever week I'm in. Uh, <laughs> sometimes these are easier than others. So there, um, yeah, I'm going to skip those other pages. Alrighty. So then... These ones where I was in my brainstorm section. There are also some inserts from Jane's Agenda. Um, and I like them because it has a space to write hourly things. And um, so you can kind of do your week at a glance here with the hourlies, but also some to do. So this is kind of like where I do my brain dump um, for the weeks to see what all I need to do, where I can fit it. So it is slightly redundant with my main section, but I really don't see a way to decorate this. And I do want to have a decorated main section. I'll show you how I was. Here's some of my brainstorm pages from May where I didn't really put a lot in there, but I would put out my um, to-do lists. Here, I tried to put my to-do list in a little bit more, but yeah, just gives you kind of the idea. So then my next thing that I'm adding that is new is I'm going to have a little finance section. And I think it's more than just finance in general, but I also want to track how much money I'm making and what kind of money-making activities I'm doing for my business. So that is going to be, um, yeah. So finances, 
Um, I'm not paying off debt or anything like that because I finally got that all done. Yay. But um, I do want to track like um, making sure that I continue to have income because I know it's easy to get distracted, especially when you have a lot going on. Like I do this summer with like the wedding and stuff. So let's do, I'm not sure if I'll use this or how I'll use this. Anyways, brainstorming how to do my financial thing. But um, yeah, like this week I just started to write out what I needed to do for a party I was doing. Um, but yeah, this one's a work in progress. So we'll see how this grows as I go along. I've never used a dashboard before, but I thought it would work well for, um, yeah, the finance section. And then, of course, I have my notes section. And we'll actually right. pull a couple of other financial things. And then my notes section. I'm always learning, so this first section is just whatever I'm learning about, whether it's decluttering or losing weight or whatever I'm interested in, goes here in my personal notes. And then another section for my business notes. If I'm doing meetings or brainstorming um, projects and stuff, that's where that goes. So I am going to look at what else I want to change in here and then I will come back and do a whole flip through here in a minute. Okay, I think I have it figured out how I wanted everything and sorry about the glare, I didn't realize it was that much of a glare. Anyways, all right, so it's going to open to these. I did end up putting one of these beautiful Jane's Agenda things behind here because I just like how dark that is. It makes the words show up more. But of course, since I still love having my girl, she is there. I just paper clipped her. Um, and then we re did rearrange some of these a little bit by title. So self-care, because I like everything. I like every tab to open to something pretty because that's why I have so many pretty things in here. So self-care is going to open to this beautiful vellum and dashboard from Jane's Agenda and then go into my sections for that. Fitness is going to be its own section using those beautiful thingies. Um, and I'm only going to do two months because three was too much to put in here, but it's going to have those, um, those right there. Catch-all is just opening to my main part and I might rename these when I do my big changeover mid-year um, for July, but this is what it is for now. So month is going to take me to um, the month, and then this week takes me right to the current week. Um, brainstorm is actually doesn't have to open anything pretty. It opens right to my brainstorm section, which is plain because when I need to think, that's how I want it to be. And then finances opens to this pretty section. And then my notes is this pretty section. So yay, I feel like it's all set up and ready to go for June. I'm just going to do a little bit of decorating and um, I will see you guys next month when I do my fun um, July setup, which is my mid-year setup with the new 18 month calendars that I got from the happy planner. So see you guys next time.